Hi, I'm Greg with BTOD.com, and today we're gonna to be showing you our GyroSense technology, our latest in collision avoidance for the vert desk. And we're gonna also show you how that compares to one of our leading competitors. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is the GyroSense technology, which is inside of our control box. Essentially what that is, is a small gyro sensor that's actually attached to our circuit board. So what the gyro sensor is working off of is a plane. So what we need to consider is the surface as our plane. We have three different axes points. The first is the X, which is the front. That is looking at this motion. The second is the front to back, which is our Y, which is this motion. And then lastly is Z, which is a twisting motion here. So essentially our plane, when it starts in motion, is the plane that it's going to recognize as a neutral or a flat level position. Now, if it were to bump something, say on this side going up, that would hit the X axis, which would shut the desk down. It actually reverses course slightly once it hits something and backs off. Now, the same is true when moving down. So if that were to impact something as it were moving down, again, it would impact the Y axis, or excuse me, the X axis, and that would trigger the anti-collision. So the second system we're gonna show you today is on the Jarvis from Jai Kang. This is a software-driven system. Now a software-driven system is very common uh, in the industry right now, and it's actually something that we had previously used with our Logic Data Electronics. Now how that functions is basically we look at a amp requirement or an amp draw. So when a desk starts out, it understands how much amperage is required to move the desk and whatever is on the actual surface. Now, when we consider it a hard impact, which is what that's really designed for, you're gonna have a large spike. So as it hits something hard, it's going to spike because it's trying to lift whatever it's hitting. That spike is what actually triggers the anti-collision. So then the last thing comes down to Gyro sense or gyro sensor technology compared to a software driven collision avoidance system. Which is better? It really comes down to what type of collision avoidance you're most concerned with. Now for us in particular, we were really concerned with soft collisions. So you can think of things like your fingers or your arm or maybe a leg, even that chair in your office. At a certain point with that chair, it's still going to be a soft collision. What we found with the software driven system, specifically when we were using it in logic data, is it really required a, a large force to stop the desk and reverse its course. So with customers asking us for one touch functionality, we weren't able to provide that and feel as comfortable with that system on the previous software driven system. So that's really the case between these two. Both are going to have safety concerns. I mean, they're very strong desks, they're heavy. So if you were to put your fingers in there, which we wouldn't recommend, it's still going to be a safety concern. So we always wanna make sure you recognize that. Our first test that we're gonna do is we're gonna be using a number two pencil. America's Pencil, USA Gold, made in Tennessee. We're gonna go ahead and take the vert desk. It's set at 38 inches. We've got the Jarvis set at 32. We'll go ahead and put the pencil in here under the 50 pound dumbbell. We're gonna take the vert desk with the one touch. We're gonna to take it all the way to the bottom. The pencil did not break. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually reverse the test with a new pencil. So now we have the Jarvis desk set at 38 inches. We got the vert desk set at about 32 inches. We got a new pencil. We're gonna place it under the 50 pound weight we're gonna go ahead and press the one touch. And it definitely broke the pencil. So the next test we're gonna show you is we're gonna actually use my hand, but this time it's only gonna be with the vert desk. Unfortunately, after you saw the Jarvis, I'm unwilling to put my hands in there. So that's coming up next. 
So the last test we're gonna show you is the hand or the finger test. I wanna say, as the owner of BTOD, I'm willing to do this and put myself at risk because there is a safety concern involved with these desks and we definitely don't recommend doing this at home. But I do believe in our product, so I wanted to show you what would happen if you wedged your fingers in here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put my fingers in. We're gonna go ahead and run it down. I still have got my fingers. So that's the difference between GyroSense technology and the software-driven system in the Gykang, which really, again, is much like what we previously had. So that's a brief overview of the new GyroSense technology inside the latest Vert Desk. For more information on GyroSense technology and gyro sensors, please feel free to visit btod.com in the Breakroom blog. Thanks for watching.